I've got two words for Pokemon. Game over. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today, Pokemon fans, young and old alike, have a hard pill to swallow. It is time to put down Pokemon. And I don't mean put down the video game controller. I mean like put it down the way my dad put my favorite dog Orville down. Oh, oh, so you can picture putting down Pikachu in that way, as cute as he is? Pika who? More like Pika Y. It's not just a video game, it's a multimedia corporation that's gotten too big for its cartoon britches and wants to infiltrate your home, make your kids dumber, and steal your wife. It's time for Rat and Rave with Rat. You know what, I'm here to support you, and I may be the only one here, I don't know who's clicked on this, but Let's hopefully, do this. hopefully, Pokemon lovers everywhere have clicked on this. <laughs> well, brace yourself because I'm just gonna rip the band aid right off. <laughs> ah! That's why I asked you to put that band aid on your nipple. Again, I'm here to support you. Can I keep that? Nope, it's on the floor. What started as a seemingly innocent game is now a true plague on society designed to exploit its loyal fans, and it needs to be stopped. I mean, let's start with the name. It's short for Pocket Monster, which sounds like something a pervert keeps in his pants. I don't want my kids anywhere near that. I didn't know that. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, and I salute you for it, Pokemon is a Japanese Wrong. video game that was made for Nintendo's Game Boy in 1996. Since then, it has spawned a massive global trading card game, a TV show with over 20 seasons and 24 different movies. The franchise has a monopoly on the entire market. Literally, I mean, look at this. This is Pokemon Monopoly. Is this what all the NFT stuff is kept in? Yes, that box is full of NFTs, Link. The idea, and you can remove that now. Um, oh, okay, I'm gonna eBay it. The idea behind the Pokemon universe is simple. In it, humans or trainers capture Pokemon creatures and train them to battle other Pokemon creatures. This is basically cartoon cockfighting. Is this what we want for our youth? Yeah, here, hold my cock. You probably think I'm overreacting. Well, what if I showed you a clip of a certified psychiatrist who agrees with me? If you would, please pull down the screen link. Okay, my pleasure. I'd like to show you a clip from an NSNBC <laughs> news report from 1999. NSNBC? Also known as, known as MSNBC. Uh, Take it away, Twinkie uh, Fingers. Yeah. But some experts say the entire Pokemon phenomenon is the enemy. Oh. In my opinion, parents should not let their kids watch Pokemon, play Pokemon, buy Pokemon cards, have anything whatsoever to do with Pokemon because the message is violence. Violence. You hear that, Link? A certified up, psychiatrist. Carol. You got oh, you got the cojones to argue with certified psychiatrist Dr. Carol Lieberman, who I, says the message is violent. They went an orderly line. Do you know the overall official catchphrase of Pokemon? Got it. Roll them. the clip, Tweakle Fingies. Not so fast, Link. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch yeah, them gotta all. catch them all. Gotta gotta catch catch them all. Catch them all. Yeah, like I was saying, gotta catch them all. You were right, I just wanted the video to say it. Gotta catch them all. And here's the thing, can you really catch them all? No, it is impossible. There are at least 898 Pokemon characters. The greedy, shadowy business people behind Pokemon have set its fans up for failure. Oh. Because even if you could catch all 898 of them, how could they all fit inside this little red ball? Open the ball, Link. Ah. Two cents. Yep, that's my two cents, Link. And if anybody else wants my two cents, it's that 898 Pokemon characters is exactly 897 Pokemon characters too many. Twinkle Fingies, please show us what 898 Pokemon characters looks like. Oh, am I seeing it now? Yeah, you're seeing it. Whoa, whoa, hey, oh, oh, help! Poke, hey, I almost called you Pokemon. I'm so confused right now. Twinkle Fingies, are you okay? Okay, if anybody, if any Pokemon tries to hurt my sweet Twinkle Fingies, so help me God. Also, Link, could you please put the screen back up? Anything to de-escalate this situation. If you thought over 800 <laughs> characters was too much, and it is, wait till you see all the other ways Big Pokemon is pummeling its way into our lives. Link, screen, please. Big Pokemon. Uh, 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 okay, yes, I have a job. I wanna get serious for a minute. And talk about the greatest threat to humankind besides young Sheldon. Pokemon Go. 
This was the moment that Pokemon found its way oh. out of the cartoon world and into our physical world. The augmented reality game was released in 2016, and needless to say, people looking down at their phones while hunting Pokemon characters in real life led to some unfortunate events. Don't believe me? Roll it, Twinkle. There's a lore up here, though, I think. Yeah, there's yeah. someone on the bridge. There's someone on the bridge? Yeah, I heard him talking. <laughs> I'm probably gonna go check that out. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Wow. Oh! <laughs> he just walked off the bridge. I didn't know that was water. Okay, emergency call? Link, that you, really happened? you laugh, but that guy died. Just kidding, he was fine after no. he dried out in a giant bowl of rice for a few hours. Link, screen up, please. Okay. But the danger doesn't stop there. Let's go back to that MSNBC news story. Link, please, screen down. It could have been some streamlining to this process. Roll it. School officials are finding that Pokemon cards are responsible for fist fights and the constant trading is not fist only fight. distracting kids from classwork, but turning the playground into a black market oh, where fight. they buy and sell rare cards. Okay, they didn't get footage of the fist fights, but here's what I know. There are only two things, yeah, screen up please. There are only two things worth having a fist fight over. The last nacho and when somebody says, you're tall, do you play basketball? It's gonna <laughs> Link screen up, please. Oh, it's already done. Okay. But yeah. that's not See? all. Pokemon ticket scalping is a real thing and it's real dangerous. Recently, a shopper leaving a Target in Wisconsin was attacked by three men in the parking lot over Pokemon cards. And truth be told, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it was a Target fight, which is a tad more tasteful than a Walmart fight because Walmart fights don't end until somebody loses an eye. Uh -huh. But it did lead to this. Link screen, please. I mean, it would have been nice if I could reach it without having to like do a mini squat. You're getting a workout. As you can see here, it says, to ensure the safety of our guests and team members, effective May 14th, the following cards, including Pokemon trading cards, will no longer be sold in stores. Dang. Now, the second most shocking thing here is that Pokemon News has a blue check mark. Screen up, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, you know who always keeps their shelves stocked with the merch you love? Remember that 80s commercial where the guy down, cracks down. and. Up, down. Up. Uh, yeah. This is this is the moment where we were selling your t that T-shirt you're wearing. Focus is on the T-shirt. Okay. Remember that '80s commercial where the guy cracks an egg into a frying pan as a metaphor for what your brain becomes when you take mind-altering substances? Yeah. Well, if you're too young, search it on YouTube. If you did too many mind-altering substances and you forget, search it on YouTube. If you want to tell the world what your brain feels like when one watches Mythical, an insanely epic and delicious sandwich, get our newest tea at Mythical.com they'll probably have a lot of questions. Hmm. Okay, I think I've proven, you can keep the screen up. Don't anticipate, man. I don't believe. You can keep it up, don't anticipate. I think I've proven that the Poke Lords behind Pokemon only care about their Poke profits, no matter what sort of danger or detriment they bring upon our youth. But it gets worse because now, other companies are lining their Poke pockets with this dirty money. Starbucks. Starbucks, of course. Released this Pokemon Go Frappuccino to coinc, don't drink it coincide with the release of the game in 2016. Did you drink it? Well, I did. It tastes good. I should good. have told you don't drink it. Is it's something in it? It's a prop. I can't, I can't attest to what's inside it. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, well, if that's not gag worthy enough for you, General Mills currently has a Pokemon cereal out in honor of Pokemon's 25th anniversary. Good God, that is, this is the, the thickest box of cereal I've ever seen. Yeah, it's square bottomed. Poke, don't eat it. Really? Yeah, I, I, am. I can't attest for what's in it. And you're actually supposed to eat it inside one of these. You know what they call that? A Pokeball. Well, it's a mug. Also, these Pokemon fruit gummies are currently available from Betty Crocker. And who owns Betty Crocker? General Mills. And who is General Mills in bed with? Pikachu. See, it's one vicious cycle, oh, Pikachu Link. Pikachu and Betty are- Hello! Don't eat those. Okay, not only can you put Pokemon into your body, but you can also put it onto your body. And the worst part about these products is that they're made by poor, innocent fans. For example, this Pokebomb is a bath bomb with a figurine inside it. You can put it there in the uh, wow. in the bowl of water. I see that. Now, personally, I wouldn't put this bath bomb anywhere near my Squirtle, if you know what I mean, but <laughs> you can wait for the water to take its effect. Oh, it works. There's a toy inside. I guess after a relaxing Poke bath, you're ready to propose to your lover with this Pokeball ring box. And yes, inside is a Pokemon wedding ring. Link screen, please. Oh, okay. Yes. 
Oh, you didn't buy that for me? Nothing says I love you like a ring you traded 300 tickets in for at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> Link screen up, please. Of and course. if she's crazy enough to say yes, I guess she'll be wearing this Pikachu wedding garter on your wedding day. No way. Don't be surprised if no one wants to catch this garter. All the way, whoop! Okay, not all the way. <laughs> and if the marriage goes really well, I guess you'll be putting this Pikachu onesie on your baby. Your baby! Aww. Pokemon is coming after our infants now! Shockingly but cute. P Pikachu won't be smiling when he's covered in regurgitated sweet potatoes. And speaking of fan-made things, would it surprise you to hear that fans can design their own Pokemon cards? And Link, Link. No. Would you be surprised to find out there's one of us? Scream, please. Yeah, you knew exactly See? where I was going. You're learning. I'm like AI. This is the official oh, crap. Red and Link Pokemon card. This is official? I mean, it's officially, it's, Our faces. it's been made by a fan. Now, stage two. as you can see, it says stage two evolves from Link's cat patches. Here's the problem with that. It's no good because Mo Link's mom got rid of patches when she found out it had worms. That's, that Link, is true. screen up, please. No. Get, get. I just function? wanna say, Patches, I'm sorry. And I hate this screen! Oh, oh no! The Rahab up the Rahat Rat Alarm! In conclusion, although Pokemon seems like a game with pretend characters, it has very real consequences. Dangerous consequences. That little Pikachu may have found a way into our homes, our stomachs, and dare I say, our brains. Yeah. But he will never find a way into my heart. Pokemon, gotta end them all. Is that it? Well, in that case, it's time for me to rank this rant. And you know what? I learned some stuff. Yeah. Uh, you were impressive with that screen too, and, and the Band-Aid. But it doesn't top the simulation from August of last year. Good work. And did you get your prize? Not yet. Maybe in Good Mythical More. Okay, thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. My name is Melina. I'm graduating from Suno Nianta, and it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. So, congrats, girl. Watch yourself. That's going to come back down. Click the top link to watch us identify real Pokemon characters from fake ones in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. Watching Mythical makes your brain epically delicious. Let the world know with a Your Brain on Mythical tea. Available now at mythical.com.